Hey, welcome to the video. My name is David and today we're going to be talking about making free YouTube thumbnails for your YouTube video for YouTube. One big promise I want to make you is that these thumbnails are going to be quick, easy, and free. So let's get started. I want to take a moment to emphasize how important thumbnails are to your YouTube channel and every video that you make. Thumbnails are the first thing that people will see before they click your video. Think of it as the cover of a book. People like to say that you don't judge a book by its cover, but honestly, think about any book you've ever bought or read, you probably judged it by its cover. So think of that in the same way you're thinking about your YouTube videos. You gotta have a good, flashy, attention-grabbing thumbnail for your YouTube video to be able to grab that attention, grab the click, get the view, get the subscriber, and the hours watched. If your goal is to someday get monetized on YouTube, you know how important it is to get hours watched and subscribers. And without the very first step of making a good thumbnail, you're having a hard time getting to that end result. You've probably heard of an editing software called Photoshop. Well, Photoshop is for professionals and it's not free. So that's not what we're gonna be talking about because we're looking for something easy and free. The software we're gonna be talking about today is Canva. I've been using Canva for a long time and it's helped me on my journey of content creation and social media management and freelancing all along the way. So let's take a look. All right, so you'll start out by going to canva.com. Pretty simple. In the beginning, if you haven't already created an account, you'll need to create one and then you'll come to this page. You can either come up here to the search section and search for YouTube thumbnail or it'll prompt you in the recommended space for YouTube thumbnails. If you click on it, you'll come to this page. You'll have a blank canvas on your right and over on the left, you'll have templates. If you look closely at the templates, there's this little crown and if you hover over it, it says pro or you won't have a crown where it says pro. That's the difference between free templates and paid templates. I have a paid subscription to Canva, but since we're talking about free, simple, and easy options, we'll be looking at a template that is free. Another reason we're looking at templates is because we want to do it fast. If you wanted to create something all on your own, you can use this blank canvas here and you can start playing with background colors and uploading images and doing all the text and shapes and stuff yourself. Canva gives you lots of options to really help things be simple, but because we're looking to do something simple, fast, easy, and free, we're gonna be using a template today. Let's start with this template here. This kind of reminds me of something I'd see on YouTube right now, something with somebody having a dramatic facial expression and then some text to explain what's going on in the video. This person on the, on the thumbnail, on the design is not you. So if you plan on having yourself in this thumbnail, you might wanna get rid of this person. But before you do, let's grab a picture of you and see if we can kinda of emulate what's going on in this thumbnail. In this space over on the left, there's a space called uploads. That's where you can upload your own pictures, either by clicking upload files or dragging and dropping into this section. I'm just gonna grab something I've uploaded in the past and we'll get to work. Now, as you can see, this has a background and this does not have a background. I think that in order to get the background removed, you have to have a premium account, but I'm not sure. So I'll show you both ways. One, to be able to remove the background, go to edit photo after you've selected it and then press this button right here, BG remover. It'll quickly remove the background and then you would just crop in so that you don't have any, if they made like a little small error or something. And the goal here would be to get this to be the same size roughly as the person is in the thumbnail. That way you can kind of follow the guideline of the thumbnail. You don't have to have the super dramatic hands on your head unless you want to. Just depends on what the topic of the video is gonna be. Once you do that, then you can remove this person. Just press the delete button after you select it. Then you get to select and play with all of these elements here. I really don't care for these colors, so I'm probably gonna change them up. I like simple, easy stuff, so I probably use a lot more like white
And then because my shirt is blue, I probably changed the background of the whole thing. Just change the color, whatever you like. Let's go with something a little crazy since I'm not going to be using this. And then the words, you can't use white as the splash and then also the words is white. It, 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 it drains out the words. So we're going to try to create something a little bit more pop with a little bit more pop. So the easiest way to do that would be just to change the color of the text. Uh, let's try black. You can be more creative than me if you like. I'm just going through this pretty quickly just to kind of show you how you could do something like this. Honestly, there's so much going on in this little image. I probably just delete it. And this little thing here, I'm not a fan of, but maybe we could use it at some point. So I put this over here on the side. Maybe I'll bring these back to white again, since it's not being bled out. And you can change the text on this to fit your video. Maybe use a color that fits your brand. Maybe I'm going for something Christmassy right now. You can select multiple things. Wouldn't want to select my picture there. You can select multiple things and drag it around, size it up all together. Easy. Look at that. That makes it cool, right? Now, if this option for taking out the background of your picture isn't free, then we want to do something different. But this just kind of gives you an idea of how you can play around with a template to build your thumbnail and make it pop a little bit. Now, there's a, one more thing I like to do here. You'll see it on most, whoa, we're going crazy. One thing you'll see on my thumbnails that I like to do is I like to create this outline around me, myself. And all it is is doing that and then changing the color to white. With that, you can see how the lettering kind of bled in. So you have to move things around, change the colors. You could even do something where you're creating a glow or glitch or just some different effects that you want to play with. And you can come over here and play with all of this stuff. Now let's do it as if I couldn't cut myself out. That way it's super free for you, just in case that is not a free option. So we're going to go back, back, back until we get to the original setup. All right, so we're back to me having a photo. And we're going to take this guy out. And we're going to make it the whole screen. We could do something like this. All right, so here's an idea. You can take this guy out. You can come over here to elements and look for a frame. You can take whichever frame you like out of all of these here. I imagine something kind of basic for now. And then just drag the photo into the frame. Now you have the same concept as what you had before. You can zoom that photo in real quick. And now you still have the background. You can kind of position this backwards so everything still runs in line of the photo. And you got pretty much a very similar thing and you can make all your edits to all this other stuff in the background again. Also, if you prefer, there's all sorts of different frames in here. And you can check out all these different shapes and if there's different designs along the edges and you can get real creative in here and use any of these things. Once you're done with your edit and you've customized all the things you want to customize, all you do is come over here to the share button, press download. You don't need to worry about any of these selections here. I usually export or download as a PNG, but if you prefer a different file format, you're welcome to do so. JPEG is a great, another great option, but I just stick with whatever is recommended. And then you have the option to make it an even bigger image if you like, but that's not something needed for the 
YouTube thumbnail. So now you do is press download. It'll work on downloading. And then there you have it. There's your image. Uh, you could then after that you probably want to customize your the title of your thumb thumbnail. But you can actually edit that in here in this space. And there we go. Now when you download it again, it'll have the name that you assigned to it. Then when you go to your YouTube video to customize it, you can upload this thumbnail right to it. And there you have it. Creating a YouTube thumbnail doesn't have to be difficult or expensive or challenging. It's super simple and easy. Just follow the templates and you'll come out with something at least halfway decent. And with something that's at least halfway decent, you're gonna be more likely to attract more viewers, more subscribers and grow your YouTube channel. If this video was valuable and you're interested in becoming a content creator or making money online, well, I wanna encourage you to subscribe and follow the channel because this is the kind of content you can expect to see moving forward. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.